Stand by. So starting from you know entry level, um, you know they all have the standard uh, bolt for uh, long receivers, standard with the oversized mag release. So this one has the uh, you know, standard iMod stock, uh, Mur upper, and the Freedom 15 inch handguard. And what we have here is, um, I guess these new um, you know spacer pieces. It's sort of to give a flat bottom to the handguard. So these are 3D uh, printed prototypes. They'll come in different lengths. But the idea is to sort of custom fit that um, you know, to the individual shooter. So whether you want to put it on a barricade or you want sort of longer, um, however you position your rifle, that's sort of the purpose there. Um, you know, full mass bolt carrier group, uh, T1 nozzle brake, which is uh, Gemtech Halo suppressor compatible. Um, uh, barrel here is a um, Roscoe barrel, so they make very well known um, in the industry. They've just uh, level uh, type of rifle. Uh, this particular one has a uh, carbon length gas system. Uh, production versions will have a mid-length uh, with an optimized uh, size gas port. So okay. that's just get it out here physically you'll be able to feel what the what's there. Uh, this particular one is another step up. It's got a mod style. Again a Timney uh, three pound trigger with a 45 throw. Uh, full mass carrier. This one actually has a uh, fusion um, 15 inch monolithic handgun. So this is all in one piece. Um, you know, access bound up you know, through this door here. Um, the idea here is to keep it lightweight and rigid. So this is as light or lighter than having a traditional uh, carbon fiber handguard as an example. Uh, barrel here is a Dracos. Uh, so what this is, it's, it's a 16 inch with an adjustable gas system, T1 muzzle brake. And you know, the claim to fame here is it's a pencil barrel. There's an aluminum sleeve with a heat dissipating material sandwiched between the sleeve and the barrel. So HP White Labs did an independent test where they uh, dumped four mags for a rifle with one of these barrels and one with a standard um, steel barrel. Uh, measure the temperatures. The Drake cursor at the end of the mag, the four mag dump was uh, about 200 degrees, whereas standard barrel was about 1,000 degrees. So heat is what kills barrels. Right. And Dracos has uh, the guarantee that if you wear the barrel out, they will replace it with your life. So that's how confident they are in um, the special capabilities of that particular barrel. So again, adjustable gas here. We're looking at you know, maybe um, you know, um, you know, low mass carriers and things of that nature. Again, similar to what we just saw, but more four power size three gun setup. So, again, the uh, monolithic upper, um, you know, assault slightly longer, heavier E mod stock. This one has a three ounce carbine buffer, JP lightweight bolt carrier group, uh, Faxon 18 inch barrel with a length gas system, superlative adjustable gas block, and this one is a DG6 lightweight nozzle brake. So, again, this is a uh, bit tuned three gun. Again, you'll notice this is probably, you know, with the optic, probably sub seven pounds. Um, so this is you know, very, very lightweight. But, um, you know, barrel that's on match series. So you know, all of these barrels will have the accuracy that's needed. It's more a 
case of you know, giving uh, the free gun world what they what they what they need and right. less of what they don't want. So they're going to you know, start changing stuff up. You know, number one priority is get you what you need and you know, have maximum liability.